Getting back to WWE run with uh, Heidenreich, was it hard being on the road once again full time? Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like be back on the road all the time the way it was, you know. I, um, especially when the match was like pulling teeth, right? You know, you never knew which John Heidenreich was going to show. Sometimes, hmm. you know, right? You go there with the best intentions of work and. Then he'd show up late, and then you got the agents who were there ripping me a new butthole like it's my fault. Who are some of the agents? Well, I mean, you know, you had Fit and Steamboat and, right. you know, and uh, Malenko. Right. You know, and a T2 County and a Malenko yelling at me for some reason. One of the guys that ever drew a dime in this business telling me what to do. A lot of people say that about Dean, that, that he didn't respect a lot of the vets. and. No, he didn't respect a lot of the vets. But that's because I think he had a lot of the little man syndrome and got pissed off a lot because there's a little guy that didn't make the big money. Right. And this is his way to get back at everybody. Hmm. That's just the way Dean comes off, though. Dean comes off like a cocky, ar cocky, arrogant little bastard. That's just the way he comes off. A lot of people have said that on an interview, so. Were you well, respect I thought the first one. <laughs> that won't be the last.